sure most men are not dealing with the wife and the side chick and the other chick and the, and the or whatever the fuck other titles motherfuckers got nowadays that he's not dealing with you because you're like her or he's not dealing with her because she's like her they deal with you because you're different because you're not like her so your competition is not necessarily her she may do things that he you don't do and then every time somebody says that it's like sexually like she's sexually taking it no you could be both of you could be doing everything you know and I don't really want to get into the everything part. Whatever your everything is, you know, whatever you and his everything is, y'all could both be doing it, you know, pleasing this man or a woman. Let me just put that out there because women, we do shit too. So you could be pleasing that person and they will still have, quote unquote, a side chick or whatever else. And those positions are filled. And what happens is we look at it as competition because we want to... Fill a position that's already filled. You want to step into shoes that somebody's feet are already in. And you can't do that. That doesn't work like that. Life doesn't work like that. Now, there's all these things. If you um, get with that man or woman, if you get with them while, you know, they're with another person, that's going to happen to you. And I don't, I can't speak on that. That's a karma. That's karma. Karma has to talk to you about that. Um, I do think that in her situation, what happens is she was with him. They were together, and I don't know how long it was before she knew about the, the girlfriend or the wife. Let's say the wife, because I think it's the wife. I don't know how long before she knew about the wife, but when she found out, that's when you have a choice. You know, you have a choice to play your role or back the fuck off. That's your choice. You know, there's always a choice, and now it's the, I don't have a choice. Nigga, you got a choice. Whether you like the choice options, you know, it's kind of like when they tell you, in between a rock and a hard place, you're right. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to push up on one of them choices. You're going to have to do like, like, I'm going to stay. Or you could stay in your lane. And I think that all depends on you. So she's talking to the gentleman. I'm going to call him that because I don't. She's talking to her, to her, to her boo. And it's like, um, she comes back and she's like, oh, and he says, give him time. Okay, give him time. I mean, I, I, you want me to determine whether or not that time that he's requesting matters. I mean, I, I, I asked a lot of questions, and I don't really want to go into it about what questions I asked. But, you know, at the end of the day, what is it that you want? We always, like, as the woman, I know me, I spent so many years focused on what he wants. And, I mean, I did so much to make a man happy. And, I mean, I think we all do it. I think I don't think that's a gender-specific thing. Men do crazy shit they spend crazy bread they come over and do man shit clean shit you know um i don't want to say men don't really clean not clean shit like that but you know fix the car whatever the hell men do women do whatever the hell we do we cook you know i can always speak from what a woman does because i'm always cooking cleaning you know making sure shit is good so that when you come home you're happy you know you ain't having to do none of that stuff and men you know y'all do it from your range i'm not really trying to go into who does what for who. But the competition part, you shouldn't ever be in competition with nobody else. Your personal energy, your traits, the things that you do, your smile, what makes him laugh, what makes him happy with you, has nothing to do with what makes him happy with her or her happy with him or whatever the case is. And I just wanted to let those of you who feel like either you're the wife and there's nothing that you can do to make him feel better. There's nothing that you can do to make him stop or whatever your, your situation is or you're the side girl or the other girl or whatever or girls or whatever and you feel like you want that position that she's holding. Unless she, one, let's go with that position and two, he actually wants you in that position, it's not going to happen. You know, because she can let go of that position and there could be somebody else that's waiting for it as well. It's what the person wants to know. What you got to find is a balance between what you want and what he or she wants. And if y'all sit down like quote unquote grown ups and y'all be like, look, this is it. And both of you, and this is the problem. This is where I think the problem comes in that nobody, somebody is always lying. We find ourselves lying. And the lying, and I always be like, I hate liars, what I mean. Is not everybody lies. I will lie to you. Let's see. 
I'm on my way. That's a lie. You know, sometimes I'm like, I'm on my way and I'm still in my house running around. I'm not talking about those kind of lies. You know, um, it's going to be 15 minutes and it's really going to be 30. Whatever. Not that kind of. I'm talking about like y'all sitting down and you're talking about your future, your lives, your life, your heart, you know, your emotions or whatever. When you're talking about something real and one of you are being honest and the other one is more so not. <laughs> that, that's really all it is, you know, or... And both of you have different perspectives about what the situation should be. Maybe they should be put on the table. Maybe they should be brought out. It's all right for me. I'm going to say it's all right to hurt my feelings or what you think would be hurting my feelings. Because I've what happens is he tries to protect her feelings by lying. And I swear, from my, from my experience, shit always comes out. And even if you don't know, you know, when, when, the, when the story hits the fan and you don't know the full story, because most of the time, even as the story opens up and it progresses, there's still lies that are put into that story. But as the story opens up, you're still going to be hurt, whether you're hurt today or two months from now when his wife decides she want to call you and ask you some fuck shit or, you know, you, you done been with him as a side chick for six months and you want more or whatever the reason is, you're going to eventually be hurt. Somebody out of the three or four or six of you is going to be hurt. More, more, more so than likely, most or all of you. You know, um, the person that's in the middle is usually, I don't want to say they don't get hurt. They, they probably do hurt. But they're the least likely hurt. They know what's going on. You know, and while I've been the person who wanted to fight the side chick or, you know, be mad or want to fuck out of here you are in competition with no one no one you should never be put in a competition with no one you should never feel like you're in a competition with no one except yourself i wake up every day and i'm like what could i do better how could i be a better me how do i offer up a better me to those around me and right now those around me just happen to be family like tight knit you know we've had all this loss and all this stuff go on and so right now you know, I'm trying to get life back together. I'm trying to find myself in a place where I'm back on my feet. And my competition is only me. If I had a shorty and he had a girl or <laughs> however that would go. You know, if, if it was like that and I was in a relationship that was like me and you and it's, you know, like that. At this moment right now, I, I would feel like. All that person should be doing for you is helping you figure out what it is you're supposed to be doing. Everything else can be secondary. Until you learn who you are and that you're your only competition, the only person that you should be competing with is yourself. The only one. Everybody else is extra. They're, they're fucking, what do y'all call it? White noise. You know, everybody else. Any other girl who got a fatter ass or bigger titties or a prettier face, longer hair, shit. The list goes on. Whatever it is. Maybe she should all say smarter. She make more bread. Whatever it is. You are your only competition. Just you. Look at all the messages. Just you. There is nobody else that you should ever, 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 ever be worried about. You shouldn't. Focus on you. Be in competition with no one. And when I mean no one, I mean absolutely no one. Be in competition with yourself. Wake up every day. Every single solitary day. Wake up every day with the goal to be a better you. To offer up the world more of yourself. To be a better mother. A better wife. If your goal is to be a better side chick. Um, drive better. Ride better. Work better. Do better at work. You know. Work at being better physically. Growing your brain. Whatever it is. But it should only be about you. Everybody else will fall in fucking line. And I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All the shit you ever wanted will fall in line. And in some of it. You will find out that you didn't actually want it. Or that it wasn't for you. Or whatever. You'll figure it out. It will come and wave sometimes. Once you are only focused on you. You should be your focus. Compete with no one. And always, 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 always stay boss built. Whoa.